पहले ऐसा भी लगा था कि यार अब रोज सेट पे होंगे कैसे मैं करूँगा एंड दे जस्ट लेट मी डू वट आई वॉन्ट डू पिक्चर में तो मुझे डाउट भी हुआ कि ये सब सच में हो रहा है ये लोग या इनको पढ़ी नहीं है पिक्चर की हेलो कुनाल वेलकम टू ई टाइम्स टुडे वी आर हियर टू टॉक अबाउट मडगांव एक्सप्रेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी योर एक्सपीरियंस लाइक हैव यू प्लान योर गोवा ट्रिप ड्यूरिंग योर टीम्स वॉज इट अ सक्सेस और अ ड्रीम पहले तो ड्रीम ही थे क्योंकि हमने जब प्लान किया था तब पता नहीं क्यों प्लान किया था जब पता था कि या तो परमिशन मिलेगी ना तो पैसे फिर भी किया था लेकिन द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एंडेड अप गोइंग टू गोवा वॉज इन मडगांव एक्सप्रेस कॉलेज के साथ हमारा एक ट्रिप गया था जो कॉलेज ले गया था तो फिर हमको वहाँ पहुँचते पता चला कि ये वो आइटनरी नहीं है जो हमने प्लान की थी क्योंकि हमारी आइटनरी में यू नो आर्किटेक्चरल साइट्स और कल्चरल हेरिटेज साइट्स नहीं थी Uh, तो हमने वहाँ पर एक छोटा सा रिस्क लिया था जब हमारे दोस्त ने प्रोफेसर से झूठ बोला था कि उसके यू नो अंकल वहाँ रहते हैं और हम कहीं लंच पे जा रहे हैं और हम थोड़ा दो घंटे में आ जाएंगे और कोई लेने आ रहा है झूठ बूट बोल बोल के हम लोग दो तीन घंटे के लिए अलग से तीन तीन या चार दोस्त हम भग लिए थे तो हम उसमें जाके मतलब बीच में भी चले गए कैनेटिक भी चला ली सी फूड भी खा लिया थोड़ा साइड सीन करके फिर वापस आ गए और उसके बाद मुझे खुशी है कि हमने कम से कम वो कल्चरल साइज देखी जो शायद तब इतनी इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं लगी होगी बट लेकिन आज आपको लगता है चलो मैंने देखा यार और बहुत खूबसूरत जगहें थी सो आई रियली बैलेंस्ड फर्स्ट टाइम इन गोवा सो वाज दैट एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर यू लाइक फॉर राइटिंग द स्टोरी आई थिंक मे बी कॉलिंग इट मडगांव एक्सप्रेस एंड मेकिंग द ट्रेन सच एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट येस ऑफकोर्स अगर वो एक्सपीरियंस नहीं किया होता तो पता नहीं था ट्रेनों में तो बहुत सफर किया था लेकिन मडगांव एक्सप्रेस ना पहली बार वो एक ऐसी ट्रेन थी जिसका मेरे को नाम बड़ा अच्छा लगा था मडगांव एक्सप्रेस में कुछ ऐसा पावर था तो मेरे को मेरे को हमेशा इसलिए याद था मेरे लो यार ये जगह भी बड़ी कूल है बड़ा कूल सा नाम है तो जब मैं ये फिल्म लिख रहा था और ये गोवा होता मैं कहा यार इसका नाम मडगांव एक्सप्रेस होना चाहिए पिक्चर का तो वैसे टाइटल आया द फिल्म इज बैक बाय फरहान अख्तर एंड रितेश सिद्वानी फरहान अख्तर ने भी डेब्यू किया था विद दिल चाहता है उसका भी स्टोरी लाइन थोड़ा सा सिमिलर था वेर थ्री फ्रेंड्स प्लान दिया गोवा ट्रिप एंड इवन दिस सेम हाउ ही एज अ डायरेक्टर एक्टर एंड अ प्रोड्यूसर हेल्ड यू थ्रू दिस जर्नी आई थिंक यू नो दिल चाहता है कहीं ना कहीं इंस्परेशनल रही है सबके लिए सिर्फ ना सिर्फ गोवा ट्रिप्स के लिए बट कहानियों के लिए भी और मेरे लिए भी वैसा था कहीं ना कहीं मेरे जहन में यह था कि यार उसमें वो ट्रिप बनाते हैं उनका सक्सेसफुल ट्रिप होता है और उनको कितना कुछ सीखने मिलता है क्या मैं ऐसी कोई स्क्रिप्ट लिखूँ जहाँ पर तीन जाते हैं इतना सब सोचकर उनके साथ सब गलत हो जाता है सो इसलिए दिल चाहता है गॉन रॉन्ग इन अ वे सो वन एट रोथ दिस फिल्म एन आई kind of gave it to them and uh, they liked it and they you know wanted to be directed i think they were the best producers to work with because they gave me so much freedom kyunki unhone script level pe mujhse baat ki then they let me decide who i wanted to make the film with they let me decide who were the technicians that i wanted to work with aur mujhe pehle aisa bhi laga tha ki yaar ab roz set pe honge kaise main karunga and they just let me do what i wanted to do पिछले तो मुझे डाउट भी हुआ कि ये सब सच में हो रहा है ये लोग को या इनको पढ़ी नहीं है पिक्चर की बट आई रियलाइज दैट दे गेम ही दैट फ्री हैंड सो दैट आई कूड डू वट आई वॉन्ट डू एंड आई डेंट एटलीस्ट हैव दैट प्रेशर कि 24 घंटे कोई मेरे पे निगरानी रख रहा क्या कर रहे हो तुम आई मेड दैट दिस फिल्म आई रियली एन्जॉयड माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बींग अ डायरेक्टर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड आई थिंक दैट्स ओनली हैपन बिकॉज द प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव बीन सो स्ट्रॉग बिहाइंड मी that they've given me everything that i needed to make this film the way it is now hmm. was directing always uh, in your bucket list uh maybe secretly it wasn't something that i was actually working towards but i think wo general progression hai main 6 saal ki umar se film set pe raha hu acting bhi ki i really enjoyed different aspects of it with gogo go and i got an, uh, an opportunity to be a writer on something us wajah se likha तो आई थिंक एक जनरल प्रोग्रेशन भी आपके दिमाग में होता है कि अगला आई थिंक यार अगर मौका मिले ना तो डायरेक्ट करना चाहिए सो आई थिंक व्हेन द अपॉर्चुनिटी प्रेजेंटेड इट सेल्फ टू मी आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी एंड आई ग्रैब्ड इट सो व्हाई दिस फिल्म एज एज योर डायरेक्टोरियल डेब्यू लाइक एज यू सेड कि इट वाज नॉट इन योर बकेट लिस्ट बट इट वाज समवेयर बैक बैक इन योर माइंड सो व्हाट मेड यू टू थिंक कि चलो अब डायरेक्ट करते हैं फिल्म आई एम सेइंग व्हाई नॉट आई थिंक इट्स अ फिल्म आई वुडंट राइट समथिंग दैट आई डोंट लाइक और आई एंजॉयड और आई एम एक्साइटेड बाय सो आई ऑलरेडी हैड अ स्क्रिप्ट व्हिच आई लाइक 
I've mm-hmm. invested in these are mm-hmm. characters that I've made. I'm very excited, mm-hmm. and now I'm getting an opportunity to tell it and make it in the exact way that I imagined it. I had no. I was just surprised that they let me direct it actually, uh, and the fact that they said, Ki, "Yeah, I think you should direct it and we'll produce it." And I was, I couldn't believe it. Uh, so yeah, and I was very excited because I think humor is something that I've enjoyed doing. It's something that the people have loved me for. So why not give them something that they laugh? watching and have a good time and i think that's what entertainment is i mean you come to the theaters with your friends to have a good time so i'm trying to give them a good time so how was the first conversation like you went and went went to farhan akhtar and what you said like i have a script i have a story and i want to direct it what exactly what I happened i wish it was like that i mean i would <laughs> also enjoy that but i think it was way better than that uh, i i didn't know that excel had my script uh, there was a friend of mine called Rucha who had read the script she's a friend of mine and she ended up working with excel uh, so while they were discussing of things to do i think she pitched my script to them and said that there is a script that i liked and she called me and she said uh, can you send me your script i want to i want farhan and ritesh to read it i was like farhan akhtar and ritesh sidwani she like yeah i said what are you doing there she like i'm at excel i told them about the script they want to read it okay so i sent it and then she said okay they like it they want to meet you ओके तब भी मुझे लगा था कि यू नो आई वांट टू एक्ट इन इट एंड आई हैव रिटन दिस फिल्म सो आई मेड देम एंड आई नरेटेड इट टू देम एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द नरेशन दे लाइक इट एंड दे सेड लिसन यू हैव रिटन इट विद अ विजन हैव यू नॉट थॉट अबाउट डायरेक्टिंग इट आई सेड आई हैव थॉट अबाउट इट बट डू यू वांट टू बैक इट लाइक विद मी एज अ डायरेक्टर यू वांट टू गेट समबडी हु इज मेड फिल्म दे सेड नो वी वर्क्ड विद अ लॉट ऑफ फर्स्ट टाइम डायरेक्टर्स एंड वी थिंक यू हैव रिटन दिस विद अ विजन and i think you'll be very good at it and the sense of ownership that you'll have to tell a story that's so clear in your head you should do it so that's how it happened so how is it to be on the other side of the boat like you have always acted but yeah. then how is it is to be on the director's it chair is, <laughs> it is liberating exhilarating and at the same time i don't think i'll be able to describe it because i had imagined so many things but the feeling of when you're going through it is totally different uh, or maybe I don't even know. I don't think there was a reality versus expectation thing in this. I have enjoyed every single day of being a director on this film right from the day of pre-production to the day of handing over this uh, first copy. Okay. Uh rumors are there that you are also doing a cameo role in the film. Are you? I think we should not put it to rest at least until the 22nd of March. Okay. And you are also singing like you have you also singing a song in the film. I think that is going to end now because we are dropping the jukebox. <laughs> Have you dropped it? I think the jukebox is out. So yeah. Okay, I've, a lot I've, of changes. I've a lot of changes. Even in your styling this. thing, I can see a lot of changes. Thank any you. like any any special thing that has happened? <laughs> no, I've kept evolving. I just think people have started noticing me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now that you have made your directorial debut, are you satisfied with the product? Like, have, you must have I seen am. the film. I am. So what what you have to see on that? I am happy. I am proud of what I've done. Uh, so I am seeing it now because I don't. This is exactly what I wanted to make uh, the way I wanted to make it. I mm. wouldn't change anything about it. Mm-hmm. Uh it's been a team work. I couldn't have done this alone. Every single technician that's worked on my film to every single actor including my producers who've been phenomenal behind me uh are responsible for the product that is there, but I take full responsibility of what you're going to watch and hear. Uh and so yeah, if you love it, I'm all for your praises. If you don't like it, I'm here to hear your abuses and your criticism. Okay, as a director, what are your parameters to be a good film? Like this is a good film according to me as a director. I uh, it's satisfaction. It's an instinctive thing. I don't know if there is a parameter that I can write down mm-hmm. or which says that you know if the film is this length mm. and this is where your interval happens and the first laugh happens in 10 seconds or whatever. That math I don't understand. Mm. Uh, I've never understood that. I really think films are not made on excel sheets or there is no math to it yes there is a business to it which is all math mm. but what is going to work what is going to be funny what is not going to be funny you can have an idea of it but other than that it's a feeling uh, and that's what cinema is it's some creative people somewhere getting together and trying to bring their imagination to life on the screen and trying to find an audience that connects with it yes you have worked with several directors so any inspiration from any director like i like this from this director or i like the way he director of film director of film anything like that any inspiration i think all the directors that i've worked with have been my teachers somewhere 
uh, knowingly and unknowingly, I've been very observant on every set, right from Mr. Mahesh Bhatt, who was the director of my first film, and I think the most important film of my life, which was Zakhm, uh, and then gave me an opportunity in, uh, you know, Kalyug again, right to Mohit Suri, to Madhur Bhandarkar, to Priya Darshan, to Rohit Shetty, or, you know, uh, all the, the directors that I worked with even as a kid, uh, right from Rishikesh Da, I have had the opportunity of working with him also. Every single director that I've kind of been on set with has been my teacher in a way. Uh, I have not tried to ever consciously say that I'm going to write this scene like him or I'm going to direct this like him. But if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know this art. Uh, your experience of Madgav Express, you must have traveled, right? Yeah. Oh, you're saying in like in, in the real train? life. Yeah, yeah. In real life. Yeah. I I used to. There were things that I loved about traveling in train, and there were things that I hated about traveling in train. And I think one of the things about which I loved was this whole idea of the community, right? You know, you you don't know these people who are sitting in these three bus, but you're going to spend the next 24 hours to two days sometimes with them, and it's amazing how you connect with them, and you share stories, and you share food, and you share experiences. And then you sometimes even trust them, saying that, you know, I'm going there, will you look after my bag? And this stranger that you kind of believe in. So this whole feeling of the community that kind of happens. Uh, and then at times, uh, like I used to love the fact that there pillows I used to be very excited to have that, ki mera bhi apna wala pillow hai that I'll go with. Uh, and then fight for that middle birth sometimes, because as a kid you used to like it. And then sometimes what I used to hate is like, if you got an RAC, hmm. Or the tick is not confirmed, then you have to be there forever to see if, and then you have to run after people saying karado, karado, karado. And then even like growing up and without parents we travelled and there was no seat and then you have to then share with people and like stand or some. But it's lovely how people look up to each other. Like even then, you know, some uncle and auntie will be like, eat something, sit here, it's fine. And I, it's a great experience, which you don't, I mean, on Antakshiri Khilna, yeah, you know, film ke mein baat karna. on the aircraft, you can't do that. You're just yes. stuck there for two hours yes. and that's two yes. hours, right? So you don't even care to introduce yourself to somebody. Yes. But kabhi aise hua rahega na, aray, ye to kunal khem hua, aray, isko seat de do, isko bithao yahan pe. Because people know you since childhood, right. your childhood. So right. any such experience? So the thing is that uh, up until I did Zakhm, which was in my 10th, uh, I used to travel with my parents. And so we never had to ask for a seat because we had a seat. But yes, people recognize me. Uh, later on, it just happened that uh, in college, there was the time you grew up, so not everybody recognized me, oh. right? Because from a kid, suddenly you become a teenager, you kind of shot up in height, a little bit of daddy moosh on the features were changing. So, it was a good face. Because suddenly, you could live in anonymity. And then, you did a lot of theater. So, you know, you enjoyed it. So, at that time, you didn't connect so much. Uh, so, I got to live like a normal teenager would. And then I was 21 by the time I did Kalyuk. And then, I was local train. Then, I was in the local train. Then, I was in the local train. What was uh, Soha's reaction? Like, when you told her that, look, I'm directing a film. <laughs> it was a funny phone call. I, I got out of that meeting and she was like, hey, how did it go? I said, they think I should direct the film. And she said, oh, and what did you say? I said, no, they think I should direct the film. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I said, how are you taking this lightly? It's such a big thing. She said, no, I'm excited for you. It's a, you are directing it, right? I said, yeah, I, I want to direct it. But I didn't enter that day in that yeah. meeting thinking that I would leave this office, you know, yeah. being as a probable director of this film. Okay, have you, has she seen the film? Uh, she has not seen the final product, but mm -hmm. certain reviewing times she's been there. Okay, and she's happy with it. I think so. Uh, no criticisms, nothing, no feedback. No, I've, there's been feedback galore. I mean, uh, I've, there are also other people who are involved in the film who've kind of been, who, you know, when you put the first mm. cut together, you have, you also know that, you put everything there. So that, you know, whatever is not working, you kind of go through. So it's a process. It's never, ki, ah, I knew everything and I made this cut bana diya. It's been a long journey. Uh, so yes, there has been feedback from a lot of friends, from Soha also, that I've kind of taken into consideration from my producers, from my team. Uh, but like I said, at the end of the day, plus minus kar kar ke kar kar ke jahan pahunche hain, wo ab yehi hai. Ab is pe gali tali sab le lenge. Okay, uh, you have done remarkable films. Matlab, abhi to filal, after Kalyug you had done. Yeah. But people still remember you as Sunny and Rajni from Raja Hindustani. Yeah. Yeah. So any memories you want to share, you like to share with Amir Khan especially, then Juhi, there is 
Karishma Kapoor. You know, it's amazing that those superstars are still superstars, and that's just so inspirational that they've been at the top of the game and mm -hmm. so good at what they do. That I was a kid, I'm like a grown adult now, uh, and they still do what they do. And I've been very lucky to be on set with such thorough professionals and such incredible actors that I kept learning acting and filmmaking while I was on set. Like I didn't have to go to an institute or from a teacher, but I was actually Correct. Pre present there uh, with these actors and these directors and on these sets. I have uh, only fond memories and I'm very happy that I've had the journey that I've had. Uh, Golmal 5 already announcement ho chuke, next Diwali. Uh, oh, yes, like uh, there were reports where Shreya Sarpade was just like he said, ki maybe next Diwali it yes, will be yes, na, aise so, hawa hai. so are you excited? <laughs> I mean, whenever it happens, it will be super fun yeah. because I think, you know, what Madgaon Express, when I hear my actors talk about it, mm -hmm. I f relate to it because I feel that that's exactly what yeah. happens to us on Golmal yeah. and it will be great to kind of get back with that gang and go on the paid holiday that we can to go on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was lovely talking to you, Thank Kunal, you. and all the best for Madwa Madgao Express. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.